Hello, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is a tutorial about adding new pages to your Joomla site, especially to, and we're working with SantaFeCommunityYoga.org, which is a fun yoga site in Santa Fe. It's a great center. We're going to their class descriptions area and you can see this is this is what we call a category blog layout, meaning there's a bunch of articles or pages that are loading onto one page. And so this is a list of all the class descriptions. And let's say you wanted to add a new class description, say this one, uh, which I have opened in my pages software on my Mac. It could be a Word document. It just could be a text file. It's nice to have it handy and ready to go when you're ready to add a new page to your site. And so I wanted to teach you how to add a new page to a category blog layout in a way that lets you order it the way you want. So the, for, the most important thing is that you're logged into the front end of your Joomla site. And this could be Joomla 1.5 or 2.5 plus. And you can see that I'm logged in because I've got all these little pencil icons. And when I roll over them, I see that I, if I click on it, I can edit that article. Um, but we're not going to edit the article. We're going to add a new one. But just to be sure, you need to have a login page, right? So I add login links to my clients' websites so they can log in from any page on their site. And then after they log in, they get new little links like the add new link. And this will actually let um, my client add a new page to any of her categories on her site. Uh, and we're going to add the Yoga Playground uh, class description. So we're already logged in and we're ready to click the Add New. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now, one thing that you want to be sure of, in fact, I shouldn't, I should have, I'm going to cancel and show you something. One thing that's really important, I'm going back to class descriptions, is that all your text looks pretty much the same. You don't want, I mean, you don't want to have a big font here uh, and with a different font. You don't want to have a big text size with a different font, you know, and a lot of variation. It just starts to look kind of tacky and you want a professional look that's consistent. So you might be copying from a file that you've been given by a yoga teacher and it may have different fonts and different indentations um, and you might want to be careful not to be reproducing that on your site because you'll end up with a really hodgepodge looking site. So I want to show you about that. So once again I'm going to scroll to the bottom I know I'm logged in because I have these extra links and I have the little pencil and paper that I, would let me edit any of these other articles. So I'm going to add new. And just to be sure that I'm not going to paste any weird formatting into my site, I'm going to use a trick, which is I am going to copy out of my pages document or my word document i'm going to copy then i'm going to go over here to the body of my article my new submit an article page with the editor that's opened up and i'm going to click next to the clipboard and i'm going to choose paste as plain text you do have to have jce content editor installed for this to work i'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to paste all the text. And then I'm going to insert. So now it's gotten rid of all the funniness that was in that file. And it's going to look just like the other ones. Well, I've got the title here. I'm going to take it out and put it in the title tag. 
And then I'm going to delete the space above the first paragraph just by putting my cursor there and hitting delete. And then I'm going to make a better paragraph return space between the two paragraphs. So I'm going to put my cursor before the while and then hit delete and return and you can see that it just pushed it down, which is nice. Now the next thing you want to do is scroll down um, and look at what's here. You can see that the new article defaults to the first position, but ordering can be changed after you've saved it. Okay? Um, that's important, so we'll look at that again later, but you need to choose the right category. And we're putting this in the classes section and the class description category. Okay? And then we also need to put a description in here under metadata because this is important for search engines. So I'm going to take the first paragraph, copy it. You don't need much. Whoops, I'm actually going to use my, my edit copy or command C or control C works better in Firefox than the right click in Joomla. And so I've copied the first sentence and I've put the pasting in here. So this will show up if somebody Googles Yoga Playground and this page shows up in Google, this sentence, these sentences will show up under the link. Uh, of course, it will be um, probably truncated, but that's okay. I mean, you can be very careful and shorten these. I believe it's 150 characters. Uh, but um, you don't really have to. Um, and the keywords area, you could put yoga playground here. You would only do little uh, phrases here. Now, the plus side to that, you might do yoga class. You don't want to do more than one or two things. And the idea is you're thinking of what are people Googling? What are people Googling? And then you would put that phrase in here. But you really want to be sure it's a good niche you're not overdoing it because then the search engines will ignore you if you overdo it and stuff this field with a lot of phrases. Google, in fact, doesn't look at that at all. So I often skip it since Google is the main player in the search engine department. Okay, so let's look at what we've done. We have put a title here. We have put the, the body of the message here, of the page here. And then we have scrolled down. We've made sure we, we um, this is a Joomla 1.5 site, so it has sections and categories. If you're in Joomla 2.5, you will just have categories. Um, and so we pick the right section and category. And we see that we can order it later. We copied the first sentence of the, um, body of the page into the description and you can be much more involved with this description. You know, if this page shows up in Google, you want people to click on the link and so this sentence here or a couple of sentences is what convinces people whether to click on it or not. So you want to make it enticing. We've got a couple phrases in our keyword meta tag and we're ready to save. So I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to go to the class descriptions and see where it landed. It landed first, but we don't want it first. So we're going to log into this page, and we've got the little pencil right here. Click on it. Now we can scroll down, and we can see that we don't want it to be number one. We want it to be after vinyasa three I think I'm gonna do that and I will I'm gonna delete this anyway because it's not really a true class at the moment now I'm gonna save it now it's not there until you scroll down and where did it go where did it go where did it go Yoga Playground. Okay, it went after Vinyasa too, so we need to move it again. I'm going to click on 
the pencil. I'm going to scroll down. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. I'm going to put it after Vinyasa 3. So I believe you click on the one you want it to go after. You select the one you want it to go after. I'm going to save and scroll down. I'm actually going to refresh and see if that makes a difference. No, I guess we have to, let's keep playing. And that's what you can do, just keep playing. I usually do this from the admin area, so this is a little new for me too. I'm going to go down to... I'm going to try Heart of Hoppe 5, save. So there it is, and you can just play until you get it in the right position. But that's how you add a new article, a new page, to a category blog layout, and then order it later. So have fun adding your new, your new content to your category blog in an order that you want. Now the important thing is that the blog itself was set originally so that these items show up in the order you want them. If you set up the blog so that they show up alphabetically or by date, most recent first, say, which is common for a true blog, um, then this probably won't work, this technique I'm giving you. This only works if the, the menu item, class descriptions in this case, was set to load the pages in the order that you give them, okay? Which is separate from the alphabet, alphabetizing or date. Okay, enjoy Joomla. And again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net.